Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Acting Premier, on March the 5th, the Minister of Health promised, and I quote, if it is the will of this legislature that there be a select committee, I will, of course, be fully supportive of that. Yesterday, a majority of elected representatives in this leg legislature voted to strike an all-party select committee to get to the root of the debacle at Orange. My question, will the acting premier abide by the will of this legislature and promise to strike that select committee today? Thank you. Minister Finance. The government house leader. The house leader. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, I'd like to update uh, members on a meeting of the Public Accounts Committee that was held this morning, Excellent. where it was confirmed that on March the 28th, as well as April 4th and the April the 18th, the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, a standing committee of this legislature, will be holding hearings into Orange. It's going to begin in the morning of the 28th with the Auditor General briefing the committee on the contents of his report. In in the afternoon, the committee will have the opportunity. Shouting people down is not the tradition of this place. In the, in the afternoon, Mr. Speaker, uh, the committee will hear from the Deputy Minister of Health as, as well as Ron McCurley, the Acting CEO of Orange. I also understand that members brought forward, including the New Democratic Party, a list of witnesses will be, which will be discussed later on during the subcommittee meeting. Yes, Mr. Speaker, there is a standing committee of this legislature, one which is respected, Thank you. one which is uh, uh, known. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Evidently, the government will ignore the will of this House, just as it has ignored countless whistleblowers and its own powers of investigation under the performance agreement, until the debacle at Orange made headline news. Here's what one of those headlines said under George Smitherman in December. He wrote, quote, the ministry did not conduct proper oversight. It's a commentary on my, my successor and the ministry. And today, he asks, quote, what did the minister do? Let's call them what they are, the funder. What did Sugar Daddy do? Oh. Does the acting premier agree with the former health minister's characterization, and will he promise to strike a select committee today? Government health leader. Mr. Speaker, I don't think that uh, the member recognizes as a new member that he is— from Northumberland will come to order. That he, in fact, Mr. Speaker, is attacking a standing committee of this legislature, which is shared by, the, which is chaired by the opposition. Mr. Speaker, all members from all sides of the House, members from all parties, unanimously agreed that the Public Accounts Committee would look into the Orange situation. They have asked they the Auditor General to come forward. They, they have senior Mr. officials coming forward, and Mr. Speaker, they'll be meeting later in this week to discuss other witnesses that will come forward. The standing Are committees of this legislature, Mr. Answer. Speaker, have unbelievable power when it comes to summoning witnesses and looking into Thank every you. corner of a, of a final supplementary. Mr. Speaker, we're not attacking anybody. We want the truth in this House for once and for all. And today, today, Mr. Speaker, today the Auditor General is going to give us that, that truth, and it's expected that he will highlight the fact that the Minister of Health had the power to open the books at Orange but did not use them. On top of that, her ministry ignored the warning signs from accountants and employees blowing the whistle and from members of this legislature. Does the acting premier think that somebody who hasn't done their job should keep it? Permanent House Leader. 